Sultry. Oh yeah. Mm. I could lounge all day. Yes, I believe you could. The sweet sounds of Kabora fam. <laughs> Welcome Christ. to the super fun awesome happy down pillar show. Wow. Oh yeah. Is it getting hot in here? Is it? Hello ladies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Gabor. Hey, I'm Alex. <coughs> and what do we have today, Alex? The Boss Slicer SL20. No way! I believe so. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. Um yeah, well, this is a new acquisition for myself. It's a um, kind of tremolo thing. It does stuff. So it's kind of like a slicer. Yeah, it just mm. literally Slices. does what it says on the box. Which is a uh, term from the uh, world of... Um, cooking. Cooking, slicing, yes. <laughs> no, it's like a electronic music and stuff. You're slicing yep. stuff. It's very much in that world. Uh, today we have it hooked up in stereo. So if you're not listening in stereo, grab some headphones or... Get your as as get a man in a hat would say, do yourselves a favour. That's all people get that. You probably are too young still for that as well. Yeah. Molly Meldrum? Oh, right, yeah. Molly used to always say, do yourselves a favour. Get it. Get some headphones. Mm. Um, or um, get computer speakers if nice and wide just to um, hear the stereo-ness. Yes. So we're going straight into the converters today because it's kind of... It's kind of super cool and stereo. And it doesn't really... I mean... What, matter what your amp sounds like, so, and it sounds alright. It just sounds like this. And that's directly DI'd in, and it's kind of clean and <coughs> sounds like a guitar and stuff. So, so me. tell us uh, about the SL20 audio pattern processor slicer, Alex. So basically. There's just a whole bunch of preset patterns and um, banks. Yes. The last two banks which we're on at the moment are um, actually harmonic and will change the pitch as well as the, modu um, the volume modulation. So it's not just righty, a tremolo type effect. All right, all right, all right. As you heard with the <laughs> <laughs> uh, attack and it's called duty knob. Duty. 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 <laughs> they uh, can it's really shape the waveform. <laughs> no more coffee for you. <laughs> more coffee for me. Uh, you can really <coughs> change away from some really s smooth sort of rolling modulation thing to quite choppy, hard, um, square wave type stuff. Yes. So I mean, basically, what a in a nutshell, what a slicer <laughs> is, it's basically like a, um, like a tremolo. It's a volume effect, yes. but you also have pitch effect on that, but it's like a volume effect. Works si similar to a tremolo, but it gives you patterns. Mm. So it's like a rhythmic tremolo. Yes. But it's an all-off tremolo, so where the volume goes all the way off. But it can. It doesn't have to, but it can. You also have a dry signal and an effect signal, so you can have, it, say... Blended it. And it's just a little bit of the... Yes. As you heard in the intro, I kind of changed that. So basically what we're going to do today is just go through the banks and patterns and just hear a bunch of examples and see what it does. Sounds Have a play. And 
the attack and duty knob are really cool. So you can even though there's like a few banks and a few patterns, actually there's like 50, um, <laughs> just quite a few. Each one almost has endless sounds because it can change the shape of the, shape of the waveform. Yes. 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 Do you want me to play? Uh, sure. You know what to do. I don't. I, I've never. This is the f my, first time in my life okay. I've ever played a slicer. Oh, cool. Um, the other thing is um, this output mode, as you can see in this camera. Um, so you can go from uh, mono, which is boring, to slam. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a whole bunch of stereo options, which is um, what we're going to play today. Yes. Today. So headphones, um, or speakers. Yep. Or um, get into your Dolby surround sound home theater system. Oh, yeah. Some of that action. Or get two iPhones. Press <laughs> <laughs> play at the same time. <laughs> and then, no, 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 no. that doesn't work. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think either ping pong or random are the coolest stereo. So let's go to ping pong because that's kind of does one alternate. Yes. So it repeats on each speaker. We'll just stick with ping pong for a bit. So um, let's go, start with bank one, pattern one. I just feel like playing like pretty chords. Yeah, it's it's like a it's like instant like loungy jazz jazzy kind totally. of vibe. Major sevens all the way. Major on oh, minor. I did a minor seven. Uh, <laughs> definitely sevens, and sometimes nines. Um, the other thing, of course, it has tap tempo, and you can adjust the tempo that fire that knob up there. Um, so yeah, I'm just going through the pattern um, presets in each bank. For okay. Okay. So, yeah. I'll play a major ninth now. Minor seventh. It sounds really cool in here because <laughs> it's coming stereo. One ear, other ear. Um, it sounds cool. So see, see what I, see what I mean about the tack and duty knobs. Like you can really each pattern, you can just sort of do anything you want with it, which is super cool. We'll go through a small bank preset. Why do I all of a sudden feel like standing in front of a huge crowd of people pressing a button on my keyboard and everyone goes Woo. mad because I pressed play on a computer? Anyway. You know, like... Like DJs. DJs? Yeah. Real <laughs> musicians. Now. Let's go to random stereo Ooh. setting. 
I don't know if I can handle that. Am I, c- 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 is, that is that too crazy? Oh, it is. Hold on, people. It is, but we had coffee, so it's If cool. you have shorts, hold on to them, please. Yes. <laughs> if you're commander, you're fine. Make sure your socks are <laughs> secured, because they will come. Brace. Now we're going into the um, harmonic banks. <coughs> so, so this is what it actually pitch shifts to. We'll pitch shift to. So let's try. Um, 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 um. Let's get a different one of the three Ds crisscrossy type stereo effects. Okay. okay. That's cool. That's great. Isn't it? <laughs> That's kind of like going, yeah, in between the speakers almost. It's kind of yeah, crossing over. Now this one's like a rotates through the stereo field. Just so you know, when it turns red on here, that's the first beat of the bar. Ah, okay, so okay. Subdivisions, um, like just one. Okay, so it's a. Now the last <coughs> last bank, which is another harmonic bank. Okay. And then let's have a listen to those ones. Fun. Also, um, so a couple of the other things you can do is um, has a momentary switch, so you can only um, 
Guys. Momentarize it. Just when you need a little bit of blub 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 in your life. <laughs> um, bit of musical vomit. It also has a looper on it, which so basically you can loop. Yeah. Um, you loop like a part. normal looper. You can loop a section and then you can play over it. Play but uh, what you're playing over it is not affected. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. The other cool thing you can do, if we go back to something relatively normalised, like um, play this. Back to latch mode. And when you blah, dra- uh, can't talk. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, put in the dry signal as well, you can just kind of use it as a pad thing. It's like a tremolo sort of sounding thing. Yeah, actually, you, you have the dry signal. Use it like a normal pedal. Wowzers. If you want it to be normal. Why would you want to do that? Yeah. And you can hook an expression pedal up, I believe, and you can hook MIDI up. Um, one thing I have done is um, if you hook, I'm using Logic here, if you um, set up through your DAW's <coughs> MIDI settings, you can get it to sync with the MIDI clock um, tempo of your session. Yeah, the clock. Yeah, so it's. Um, that's what the cool kids call it, the clock man. Do they? Clock. Oh, I call it the mid. <laughs> uh, so basically, just follow the tempo exactly so you don't the have to clock. worry about getting exactly on time with your tap tempo. Because the clock does it. Yes, the clock <laughs> does it. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> so, it's a cool pedal. Yeah, that's pretty much it. There's just a whole bunch of different patterns. Find the pattern you want and then sculpt it. Um, the attack, attack and sort of how you want the sound. <coughs> you good? <laughs> yeah, I just got a bit of a cold. Great, I reckon it'd be really cool for um, if you're recording, you need an extra texture in there somewhere. Yep. Um, put it behind things, or, or I mean, you can turn it into like a like as a dub or like house kind of song. Um, oh, and that GoPro just turn off. Bye bye GoPro. See ya. Uh, <laughs> um. Yeah, so uh, 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 whatever we were talking about before. Yes, that. So, yeah, so it's, it's a really cool thing. In, interesting different textures you can kind of create with it. Yeah, um, um, I've done some sessions where you kind of get to a point and kind of the song sounds good but it needs a little something. I've done it with the Echolution Delay, Pictronics one, mm-hmm. and I did it with your um, reverb with the octave thing. Oh, the, 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 the liquid ambience. Liquid ambience. The, the great flux. Flux. Flux effects. effect, great, great reverb. There's kind of out there effects are good for just adding that little bit of sparkly ice, icing on the yes. cake kind of thing where it makes it kind of just go. And you don't necessarily have to use a guitar. You can yeah. use any instrument through that. So you can plug your keyboards into it and just give it like a rhythmic pattern, so bass. Bass would be fun. Vocals Ooh. for some quirky vocal effects. True. Because you've got the dry blend there. So yeah. yeah. Or you can run it as a, a yeah as a bus. Mm. Lots That's of just, fun. you know, we're just doing, you know, just tech talk. Having a chat. Right. Um, yeah, so check it out. The Boss Lysa. Um, it's yeah. green. It's mean. It flashes. It's a slicing machine. It's a green, mean slicing machine. Um, <laughs> I think on that note. <laughs> uh, oh, make sure yeah. to subscribe to our channel. Um, check out our podcast. Uh, all, Podbean uh, all, and all, iTunes. All, all the crap is, I mean, all the good stuff is below us in the description. Leave us a comment. Let us know if you want us to see if it gents. Doesn't. Doesn't. <laughs> but you can, we can try uh, with a metal zone and a slicer. Yeah. So uh, on that note, see you guys next time. See ya. Ciao, ciao.